Hi guys and ladies, I don't know about you, but I love pistachio. So I got to thinking, why not pistachio crusted fish? I don't know. <laughs> I think I can do this though. So I picked up all the ingredients, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> except one. You know what it is. It's the fish. Let's see if we could go catch some. I'm gonna make my first can right here off the dock. It's another hot midsummer day. My bass fishing has taken a turn for the worst. I think we should go back to something that'll ensure we catch enough fish for dinner, and that would be mealworms. <laughs> yes, I have a tiny 132nd ounce jig here with a couple of mealworms attached. Let's give this a try. Oh, it's a little guy, but I think he's big enough to fillet. After further review, this guy's too small. I'm throwing him back. There you go. Oh, wow. This is what I'm talking about. Now this is a bluegill. This is dinner. Okay, look at the size on this thing. It's almost 90 degrees today. Where are you? Hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at this one. It's funny colored. It's like silvery. I'm mostly fishing in the shade. Not because I think it's better fishing here. No, it's more comfortable for me. Ooh, it's so warm today. Yeah, fish on, fish on. Okay, a nice one. He swam around with it for quite a while before I realized there's a fish on. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, this is a beauty. I've got five fish so far. Not all pond life is beautiful. Look at these things. They're called bryozoa. They're ugly. You know, bryozoa is just a colony of like microscopic little animals that form a big blob. Yeah, yeah. Be big. I said, be big, and it was. It's, it's quite adequate. Barely, you could f just barely feel it. Oh, it's not too little. It's just edible. I just want to have some fun. Forget the mealworms. Look what I did. I put a little plastic bait on the end of my jig. I think it's a... Uh, a tail from a beetle spin, a little tiny thing. Let's see how that works. Plastic. Yeah, a bass. <laughs> a bass. <laughs> a bass. 11 and a half inches. This is the size that the biologists say I need to remove from the lake. So I might as well have them for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Biggest bluegill of the day. Look at this. 
Looky here, I've got seven nice bluegill and a bass. This is more than we need for our pistachio crusted fish. So let's get in the house, fillet them, and tomorrow we can cook them up. Here it is the next day. We did okay with those mealworms, huh? And now we've got, look, about a pound and a half of these beautiful bluegill fillets, just the bluegill alone. Well, in order to do pistachio crusted fish, we need to do some pistachio prepping. Here's my plan. I'm gonna grind the pistachios up in this food processor, but I have to be careful because I don't wanna make pistachio butter one bag at a time. Oh, that's fast. So one bag gave us over a cup, almost a cup and a half. Let's go with another bag just for fun. It's fun. <laughs> I'm so delighted. Look, I've got well over two cups of this pistachio meal. Look what else I'm grinding up for future use. Barbecued flavored pork rinds. They make a great coating. You know, like a cornmeal panko substitute. Low carb. I put the pistachio meal aside. Let's do a real quickie side dish now. Here I'm just slicing up some Roma tomatoes. Let's sprinkle a little water on these onions. Now, red wine vinegar. This takes the edge off the onions. Let them marinate a while. I've got my tomatoes all laid out in a big platter. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle these onions over them. Let's add plenty of salt. I probably should have put the salt on first before the onions. I've got this product. It's like half dried and half fresh. It's lightly dried, parsley. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. You have to put oregano on it, oh yeah. I'm gonna to try to drizzle some olive oil over this. A little more red wine vinegar. Just a little more salt. Lots of pepper. I'm gonna do now is make an egg wash for the fish. First, in go three large eggs. Here's a half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of paprika. Just for fun, I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of heavy cream in there. Let's beat this baby up. I'm adding more cream. I don't know, it looks a little thick. I'm gonna thin it out with Oh, a quarter cup of water. Not much. Here's where the fun begins. Our pistachio meal. Let's put it in. To ensure there's no clumping, I have a half a cup of almond flour I'm putting in there. And it bulks it up, too. Here's our production line. We're going to dip it in our egg wash. The fish? Oh, yeah. Let it drain into our pistachio mix. Pat down for concealed weapons. Look at this, ready to go. Smells so good. The last fillet. Aha. <laughs> All right. I'm putting our skillet on medium height. Here's three quarters of a stick of, of butter. I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the pan with a little peanut oil. You could use any oil you like. I think I'll just fry half of these at a time to keep them well spaced, because look how big they are. Goodness. You could smell the pistachio. The fragrance is wonderful. I'm going to cook these two minutes, fry them, two minutes on each side. The pecan crust darkens quickly, unlike flour. 
people. You get the idea. Two minutes on each side and look. They look dark, but they're, the fragrance is so good. I think they're cooked perfectly. I'm just going to taste one. Mmm. Seasoned perfectly. And the pistachio crunch comes through. You're going to like this. Make this. I'm going to keep these warm in the oven now. While our pistachio crusted bluegill is keeping warm in the oven, I'll let you all know. I'm expecting a special guest any minute now for dinner, and it's the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Y you know, although we've been seeing each other for decades, she has yet to express any interest in marrying me, and I need to find out more about what she really thinks of me. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me at my mini mobile home. And you had a chance to feast on my uh, avocado tomato salad. And what did you think of that? It was delicious. And like we both noted, the avocado stayed so nice and yeah, they green. Yeah, green. And the, and the onion and the tomato just gave a great flavor um, and I got a tip from you on, on soaking the onions in the yeah in the red in the wine red wine yeah, yeah it, it made them sweeter yeah they were very sweet and um, what about my pistachio crusted bluegill well while we're on the subject of sweet that also had a very sweet yeah. coating it was very good the nutty Excellent meal yes crunchy and nutty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very yet, nice yeah kind of sweet yeah. tasty uh miss cheeks uh, serious oh I can say Lulu yes, yes. How would you describe me? Um, A B C D E F G H I J K. What? What does that mean? Um, adorable, beautiful, cute, delightful, elegant, fashionable, gorgeous, and hot. <laughs> Wait, but what about I J K? I'm just kidding. Can I have a hug?